How's it going everyone? So this is gonna be a different video than what I typically post. But since everybody personally that knows me in real life always ask me how I'm able to scan my gym membership card with my phone. So since I'm always constantly getting asked this, I might as well turn it into a video so everybody around the world may also know about my gym card hacks. So I know we all have been there when you're ready, you walk into your gym, you already took your pre-workout. Definitely looking forward to that massive pump, you know. But once you reach in your gym duffel bag, you then realize in shock that you forgot your gym's key card. And then now you have no choice but to wait for the front desk staff to finish up with the previous gym guests. Just so they could just take your information and just manually check you into the gym. The joy of that inconvenience. If they're understaffed, this could take anywhere from one to maybe 10 minutes. And then I used to go to some gyms where if you do this too often, you are required to purchase a replacement key tag in case you did lost it. So you have to pay that key tag replacement fee. If that is you and you wanna know an easier way you could always carry your key tag without accidentally forgetting it, continue watching this video as I'm gonna go ahead and show you my favorite hacks. So I wouldn't be surprised if I get banned after this video from large corporate gyms, especially if they rely on this method to build some extra revenue. I've been to some of those gyms where they ask a $10 replacement fee if you lose your card. But once you're done watching this video, you'll be able to print as many cards as you want. So this hack revolves around your mobile phone. It doesn't matter if you have an iPhone, an Android, a Nokia phone for all I care. If it's a device you always have on your person, it's gonna work, but it's easier on a phone because you could call it in case you lose it, use Find My Phone apps to locate it with GPS, which is why a phone is perfect. So the first key tag hack is really simple. If you have one of these clear cases on your phone, if you simply take the case and just place the barcode of your gym membership between the case and your phone, you pretty much just secure it in place like so. Since it's a clear body, the scanner should be able to read the barcode just fine. This method was the original method I've been doing for the longest time, and not once has it gave me any issues at my gym. Just other general members that see me walk in and just scan my phone, this is the method that will cause them to come up to me and ask me how I was able to do it. But Another cool hack, if you wanna take it a step further, if you scan your original barcode, either on your printer or download a third-party app on your phone, and you could also scan it this way, but, but where you could export it as a PDF so that you could store it digitally online. This way you could keep your original key tag at home, away from it, gain damage or anything, and you could literally print out a clone one on a simple A4 sheet of paper, cut that and place it between your phone and your case just like the original barcode. This way, if that key tag gets damaged, let's say it gets wet or just tears apart or something, you could easily just print out as many as you want. But let's say you don't want a clear case, and I wouldn't really blame you. Originally, I was never a huge fan of clear cases. Over time, they tend to get scratches and such. It's just, I don't know, it doesn't look as pleasant compared to something like this Aramid Fiber almost looking like a carbon fiber case by Pataka. Yes, you can technically cut out that same barcode and just stick it on with like a clear tape, but the con about that is over time, clear tape tends to collect micro dust and such, where it'll get to the point where the sticker, the stickiness, the adhesive slowly gets undone, and I think it would just ruin the look of the case. So if you don't like that, what you can do is just pick up some printable mailing stickers like these little sheets right here. These literally are stickers that you could put inside your printer and print out as many barcodes as you want. They're inexpensive and you can find this pretty much anywhere inside like any crafting aisle at any retail store. If you want, with this sticky stickers, you can pretty much stick it on anything. You don't have to just stick it on your phone. You can stick it on your water bottle, your hydro flask or something like that. Something that you carry all the time at the gym with you. So the stickers that I have, they are CD cover stickers. It's what I had. Long story short, I've been saving these for a long time. They were like a high school project and I'm surprised I kept them all this time. So although it's a CD cover, it, this method will work exactly the same. If you go to the company's website, notice that these numbers down here, 
if you enter this you could download the template the template can be downloaded and it's available for pretty much any software even the free version so you don't have to use Photoshop to get the template but by using the same PDF file that we had saved of the original barcode we could pretty much stack them however we want just make sure it lines up properly with the outlines of the templates now I made a few different sizes just to experiment because since, since I am using the CD cover I made a few different sizes in case this small one was too small for my gym barcode reader to read but just make sure everything lines up properly and then you simply just place these on your printer but before you hit print make sure you make sure that this heads on your printer is clean this way the lines of the barcode are straight but once you let your printer clean up just simply stack this on your paper feeder and just let it print and there you go and then afterwards just go to your gym and test out the barcodes and see if it reads now my gym happens to be a 24-hour gym so once the barcode is scanned the doors will unlock after that success grab a pair of scissors cut it out and stick it on the case I want to stick them on. And just like that, I have my gym membership card on my case. Now the paper is different than your standard typical paper. As I know is that these printable papers actually have some kind of weird wax over it, which I hope is there to protect the ink from fading away because I had this for one month now and so far it's, it's been holding up really well and I never gave me any issues at my gym. But if I place a sticker on like something like my hydro flask or a large bottle that I always carried on with me, the barcode should remain untouched, unharmed for a much more longer time. And if you're wondering why I don't just save my barcode as a wallpaper or just put it in my photo library to scan it from my phone that way, that's a great idea. I did try it out a few tries, but never had any success. I think the reflection on the display is just too much for some barcode readers. I even tried lowering the screen brightness. That never worked. But I do know that some large corporate gyms nowadays actually have like an app that you could download that will actually have your barcode membership right there on your phone. Maybe on their barcode readers it could work, but the majority of gyms that I've been to, this method never worked for me, which is why I switched to this method instead. So if these gym key tag membership cards work for you, make sure to leave this video a like. If you'd like to know what case, what accessories, and the sheet of paper, this brand that I'm using to make this all work, I'll be sure to include it links in the video description down below in case you have the same phone or something. And feel free to share this video with a friend or a family member who also should know about this hack. Then in other related fitness video, if you have an Apple Watch, go ahead and watch this video over here. So I pretty much cover my favorite apps for working out that you could download for your Apple Watch. And then that video over there, that's a video that YouTube is suggesting specifically for you. Their algorithm believes you're going to like it, so feel free to watch that one or this one. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.